Hey guys, so morning. Uh, good morning. This morning it is um, 9.30 in the morning and we are going to go see what we can find for breakfast. Um, we don't know very much about what's traditional Albanian, but we're just gonna go take a little walk and see what we can find. Um, it's currently 9.30 a.m. and I think it's like 34 degrees out already. So it's super hot. Yes. Super hot. The bins are finally being collected, which is nice. Yeah, so this is the, the way that they collect the garbage. There's all these kinds of bins everywhere. Yeah, so in regards to sanitation, as you can see there, um, they're kind of all over, they're all over the city. Well, they're communal, so it's basically for everyone. So there's no like weedy bin system. Everyone just puts the garbage there, but it's not collected that often. So today it's been collected, which is great. The other day it was um, very small. But they've been overflowing for like three or four days, and it's been pretty stinky, so. <laughs> Uh, must be garbage day. But yeah. you know, I mean, it's infrastructure. It takes yeah, time. Exactly, it takes time. Exactly. The only thing that I would say is at least have some nibs would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that that that's definitely one thing we noticed was um, the smell. Like when we went for a mm. walk the other day, it was really bad. Not in the downtown section, but like kind of the surrounding area. But yeah. So one thing we've noticed in uh, many countries like Albania, Mexico, Georgia, this kind of roadway will happen. So yeah, you gotta careful. be a little careful. You gotta look up yeah. and look down. And also look at all the wiring up ahead. Look above us. Well, that's kind of like Canada. But it's interesting how they have the, the overhead. But it's quite common in many countries, I think. But yeah, the, the, the walkways are very wobbly, very cobblestone -y. depends on the area of course that you're walking in. Yeah. Like, oops. Yeah, but it, it's actually not too bad here. Like in, in uh, Mexico, in San Cristobal, there were, it was actually slippery. Like, so if it was raining, a lot of them were like... Oh yeah, like a tiles, glossy like tile. Like yeah. Yeah, so you would like slip on them. And then they had these steep hills in San Cristobal, and if they were wet, you'd like totally slip down. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't go up the hill. Good old FedEx here. FedEx everywhere. Non-sponsored video. <laughs> For now. <laughs> so this is the bank that we typically use. They have good rates and good exchange rates. So this is where we've been using. Oh, smaller bills this time? <laughs> don't, don't forget your card. Let's see. What? You got smaller bills? Yeah, we got 500. Let's see. The 100, sorry. 1,000. Oh, good. All right. Done. So, so this place is like what, like ten minutes away from our Airbnb, five minute, yeah. ten minute walk. So we don't want to go too far. So we're gonna order something here, but we're gonna go in and sit down. Gone in one step. <laughs> <laughs> 
just like Turkey and Europe, delicious but hot. That's actually really nice. So thick. You you think it's two, like they are the solid. Mm-hmm. It's kinda nice though when it's hot outside. <laughs> Pretty roses. I like your fierce ones. Yeah, Leon's theory is that because they have all bristles on them, so it'll keep the kids from playing on the grass. Every one of them is like literally bordered by razors, so it's very interesting to use. So see, like this whole thing is like a complex, it's like gardens and everything, there's little street signs, and there's little cafes on the bottom of everywhere. And there's like hair salons, and like um, little shops and stuff. So it's pretty cute. There's some cute bars over there. But what's really interesting with these places is that most of them don't have food, literally. No. It's drinks like coffee and tea, and um, but they're super cute. And you must know that as with most places here, even whether it's a store, uh, it, like just a general store, it's cash only. Oh yeah, like everywhere. I don't. I think the only place that we've been that you can actually pay with a card has been the grocery store, honestly. Yeah, and well, that's only one of the grocery stores. A lot of them Still are insistent on cash. Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> we don't know why, but so we're heading over here. This is our building now. Yeah, to the left. And it. But you have to walk around. Oh, look, they put another swing set there. So that's all new. Like literally uh, last night, they put these swing set frames. So they're obviously going to be putting swings there and we showed you earlier another set too so hmm. yeah they're definitely new this looks like it's been cultivated <laughs> cultivated yeah what, what do you say in canada tilled tilled toiled soiled <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just like i don't know much about chickens i don't know you know <laughs> all right well we'll show them the entrance into the building yeah It's hard with that because you can't really see the, the distance too much, right? The sunset's really nice from our balcony. Oh, you're going to see it in a second. Yeah, yeah isn't it? it's hard. <laughs> Here it goes. I said it. <laughs> oh, it's behind. And it's behind. It's behind. <laughs> Close. We can get it there. There you go. Perfect lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that's really interesting with these buildings here, I'll go on this side. Another thing that's really interesting with these buildings is that they never lock these main doors ever. So all of them are open like it was 6. When we arrived it was like 2 a.m. And you can only get into this complex from one spot. It was so Yeah, it's really, it's, yeah. it's really uh, well secluded, yeah. if you like. <laughs> Very hard to get into. But I mean, it's nice and tidy. Like the elevators are clean. Yeah. Really high ceilings in the building. Like 
Honestly, no complaints. They're very well soundproofed. Very well soundproofed. So we don't hear anything really, even with the kids being loud, as long as the, uh, oh, my watch now is asking me if it wants to record the walk. Okay, so here we are. This is our unit here in uh, Albania. We're in Tirana. Leon's crackling the bag when he knows I'm filming. I uh, went to go pick up some groceries. This is the kitchen, very lovely, um, really nice high ceilings in here with spot, uh, pot lights, which is great. Um, this is the entrance way, uh, beautiful little table. We're gonna show you uh, the cost of what we just bought here. Uh, this is the living room. We are here for one month, uh, four weeks to be precise. Uh, air conditioning unit, heating, really nice decor, uh, great, great place overall. We really love it. Love, love the high ceilings, the track lighting's cool, the art is nice, the couch is super comfy, really nice material, which is great. Uh, really big outdoor patio. We're in an amazing complex. Some mountains over there. The internet is fantastic here. What's the speed, babe? Like 400 upload oh, and, and like... The upload is about 50, but the download is 500. No yeah, way. so it's pretty amazing. Yes. Uh, we teach, right, and uh, we work online, so for us it's really important. Here is the bathroom. Here's me, hello. Uh, toilet bidet, uh, you know, nice sink with unit, garbage, lovely washer, you know, cute little basket. Full shower, again, with high ceilings. We had a shower when we got here. It's very um, beautiful shower in there. Uh, the water pressure is very good. This is the bedroom. Uh, I think it's a king size bed. See, it feels pretty big for queen. Um, in here, it's nice, good wardrobe. However, there's only places to hang. There's no uh, shelving in there. So that's that should be changed. So this is why we have not unpacked fully, but really cute decor. Um, they have really nice end tables. In here, we also have these uh, these shutters, which roll down, you know, which are very practical and cool. So yeah, there are two kinds of plugs. They have this kind here, and we also have uh, this kind here. So yeah, the TV has all, um, you know, Netflix, smart TV and everything. So, food, what did we get, babe? How much did it cost? What, 5,178. So we got this seafood mixture to add with pasta. It's got, um, you know, mussels and stuff. Uh, two of these, they're like a meat for me to add to making pasta. Some fish sticks, a huge bag of mixed veggies, huge thing of mushrooms, Mr. Noodles, a sauce for one of the pastas some pasta, two beers, um, a little Mr. Noodle, Pringles, cookies, um, these three small bags of chips, roasted peanuts, a thing of crackers, this is some cheese thing, I don't know, and a yogurt, and a double, double thing of crab sticks, and hair gel. So what does that convert to? Do you know? Did you check? 56 Canadian dollars, 44 US dollars, or 36 great British pounds. So yeah. it, we went to like a fancy little shop in this new complex area. So I feel like we could probably get a much better deal at a big proper grocery store. Okay guys, so we just went out today. I just want to show you a few things that we bought at the average price range. Um, there's not too much I really want to show, but I would like to show you. Um, so at the grocery store, today we spent 4,085 lek, a box of sweet uh, Celep drink that Leon loves. Uh, Leon got some face cream and hair gel. So um, we got quite a few things in the grocery store and that, like I said, with the two packs of cigarettes came to 4,085 lek. And then we also went to the pharmacy and bought some proper face cream. So um, we went to the pharmacy. Leon got allergy tablets for his nose. He got some nasal spray as well. Um, and we got some hand sanitizer and then my face cream. So my face cream was 4,450 lek. So that's give or take maybe $44. 
So that was probably the most expensive purchase for today. Um, but like I said, at home in Canada, and when you're on the go, um, it's really difficult to order things from Amazon and stuff, depending on the country. Their, um, their delivery systems aren't always great, or you need to be a resident, it's very complicated. So yes, yeah, so I got that. Um, before we leave Albania, I'll definitely be getting my hair done. We have a wedding to go to the beginning of August in England, and um, the price obviously to get my hair done in England will be way more. So I will get a full color and a trim done. But yes, that was our biggest expense today. Um, but overall, pretty affordable. And we bought some, you know, vegetables, some fruits, some lemons, some peppers, carrots, and some oranges. Uh, yeah. So that was our day out. Um, overall, I think between the grocery store, the market, and the pharmacy, probably spent about a hundred bucks today. Um, but we got a lot for it, and I'm not in the mood to take it all out. But there you have it. Always fireworks, that's exactly where it was. You know, first got here on the first day. Remember you went inside and I was like, oh, the fireworks are right behind you. Yeah. Here they are. And they're nice as well. Marking the end of our stay here. We are on our way to England now. We are concluding the last leg of major travel in the last year and a half. Kind of hard to believe. So yeah, we're headed to England. So you, by the time you guys all see this, it'll probably be quite, uh, quite later on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. We're, we're a little behind in the video. Five videos. months from now. <laughs> Hopefully only two or three. Yeah. <laughs>